All right, so following off of the successful Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, Part 5, we get to Part 6, finally, and it's the final chapter in the Chosen One saga. There's still a bunch of issues left to go. And really, this kind of felt... Okay, I, um, I know this might sound unfair, but since I'm a Legends fan and I've not been interested in the new Disney canon as much, but... This chapter kind of felt pointless. Because we know, like... Okay, so remember the cover showing the Grand Inquisitor with Darth Vader's helmet split in half? Okay, yeah, we don't see that, like, at all. We we don't see that scene of because everyone was guessing, Oh, what's causing Vader's helmet to be slashed open? Like, something had to have happened. We never see that scene. Because this is just an introduction to the Grand Inquisitor. And also, <laughs> the Darth Vader character, he's went from this, okay, from this tortured soul who wants to die, but really finds life as the ultimate punishment, to really, okay, I get this is his early days as a Sith Lord, but still, um, he gets... Triggered, I would say angry, but there is no reason to define this. Um, after he had uh, after he's recovering, um, he gets triggered at the concept of someone else adjusting his suit. Oh God, that that's really you're you're gonna be pissed off at that. Um, yeah, you're triggered. You you, you are the definition of triggered. And there are a lot of triggered people in the real world. For much more pettier reasons. Like dad jokes. Hawaiian dolls. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Um, Palpatine even approves of his meddling. Yeah, way to give him power over that. Accepting that Vader is now accepting his fate in new role. So, after he had... So, just like... Um, since Vader is now trying to adjust for this, for his battle against Invala and his struggle with the new Kyber Crystal, um, the writer Charles Soli, I'm pretty sure I pronounced his last name wrong, called him the Baby Sith Lord. Yeah. In the Marvel Insider videos, is thrust into action once again. There's an intruder in the soon to be converted Imperial Palace, right, right now still the old Jedi Temple, and Vader must stop them. The Intruder, which is, not surprisingly, the Grand Inquisitor. Well, okay, here's what I'm going to be confused by. Because this contradicts what happened in Rebels. Okay, we see him fight Vader, okay, and whatnot. And, sure enough, Vader gets the upper hand on him because he was just toying with him. So, okay... Details on the how the Grand Inquisitor fell from the Jedi Temple Guard to the dark side are slowly unearthed. As Palpatine tells Vader, the Grand, the Inquisitor was frustrated with his lack of access to Jedi Order's higher secrets, so Palpatine promised the Inquisitor the knowledge he sought. Um, I'm going to dispute that because then the producers, and specifically Dave Filoni, say that the reason he fell to the dark side was because of what Barris said at the trial. In season 5. And that doubt started to plague his mind. To the point that he just started getting. More and more angry. And when the Jedi fell apart. He realized Bears was right the whole time. Um. Why was that not the reason? Instead he just wants knowledge. Um. So, which one is it, Disney? Is it Baron Suffy influenced him to indirectly, or is it I just want knowledge? It could be both, but yeah, this is Disney. They try to make everything one dimensional. So, okay. Um, okay, so apparently Vader and the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor, will um, see. Uh, uh, okay. Seems like they're gonna have some tension for a while. And then we see the rest of the Inquisitors. Two people we've never met before. Though I get the feeling the one from the Ahsoka novel is among them. Says there is an Inquisitor hunting down Ahsoka in the Ahsoka novel. So, 
I'm curious to know, are we going to see him, or is this a completely different Inquisitor? And, okay, here's what I'm really confused about. How long has this, how long, how much time has passed between when Vader shouted no to now? Because this organization of the Inquisitors just comes up out of nowhere, and we don't get any detail about what the hell happened and when did it form. Like, did Count Dooku create this Inquisitor? Well, there's a chance that probably is true because there was the Acolytes in the Legends canon. So are they just ripping off that because Disney loves to milk everything off? Like, they wanted to bring Ram Koda in from Force Unleashed into Rogue One as the blind guy. So, yeah, they'll they'll rip everything off. Since, you know, coming up with original ideas, that that's hard. We gotta milk as much money as possible. Okay. When did this organization form? Because Palpatine doesn't say when did it formed. If, like, did he form it secretly as Chancellor? If so, when? And if how, why did no one notice? Why are the Jedi being portrayed stupidly? I'm like, granted, there's a good reason for that because they become arrogant over time. And if so, where did they get their lightsaber bleeding crystal from? And if so, why was there no apocalyptic destruction on Coruscant? I'm like, that would really explain so much. Um, <laughs> okay, so Vader's hinting that Palpatine would probably replace him. And Palpatine just, you know, likes to be vague about it. So... <laughs> so he feels like, I have proven myself worthy as C... And Palpatine, for what he really is, overconfident. Vader isn't quite bold enough to make such a declaration here, but it is a seed that would happen later on in the Darth Vader comic, the 2015 to 2016 one, I believe. I'll talk about that when I finally get to reading that. Okay, so... <clears throat> Okay, now they get into revealing the return of another Jedi, who we are not surprised by, Jokasa Nu, who survived. And I could, like, it's kind of funny, the first Jedi, the second Jedi killed in, in the Legends canon during the Great Jedi Purge. The first one was a Jedi Temple guard who was guarding the front entrance. That was a bad day for the shift. I mean, like, that's explained in the Revenge of the Sith novel. And Jokasa Nu is, um... That Jokasa knew was stabbed by Anakin afterwards. So. Okay. Jokasa knew is shown and drinking what I think looks like coffee. And I'm wondering wait, coffee exists in Star Wars? Well, they say God in hell, mostly hell. So, does coffee exist? And I probably would go into a philosophical discussion about coffee, but that would be completely and utterly pointless. So, yeah, have you noticed something odd? We just get introduced to the Inquisitors, even though we knew who they were from Rebels, unless Disney thinks children are that dumb. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. So, ultimately, I just thought this chapter was pretty pointless in my mind, because we knew Jacasa knew was going to be shown. And if so, why couldn't we just get Vader and the Inquisitor working together begrudgingly since it's a hint of tension between the two since it seems like Vader doesn't want the Inquisitor to overthrow him and take over his position since he wants to further punish himself. And the Inquisitor seems intent on being by Palpatine's side, but then we see the great thing that Vader apparently does that the Inquisitor will willingly commit suicide over because he doesn't want to face Vader himself because of what happened. So, yeah, whatever Jacasa is going to do, which is gather the relics of the Jedi Order to do something with them. But I'm curious to know, the cover lied. Like, I was hyped to see this. Not only to see the Grand Inquisitor hopefully do something awesome, unlike in Rebels, that's how at least I saw it. And how Vader got his head split open. The, hel the helmet of Vader getting split in half. We never see that. So is that in the next panel? In the next comic? Or was this just Disney hyping things up in order for us to be pissed off later on and complain about it on the internet? 
But yeah, um, <laughs> okay. Like, there's not really much to go on. Like, we just got the introduction to the Inquisitors and two we've never seen before. Or was it three? Um, I'm curious just to know, is one of them the brother that goes after Ahsoka? Like, we never got their names. In fact, Stupendous Wave on Twitter said he got something out of it that surprised him and I looked for it. What was it? Like, I was hoping Barris Sophie would show up. Like, you would think Barris Sophie would be part of this group. Like, she must know something. Like, she can't have just been killed off. Like, Dave only said he wanted plans for her, but now we don't have anything since the Clone Wars was cancelled. So, is she dead? Is she alive? Is she in hiding? Is she part of the, Inqu the Inquisitors? Like, everyone speculated that... Mer um, I'm trying to remember the species name. Uh, but the same species as Barris was her, but it turns out it wasn't. So, yeah. So, um... <clears throat> yeah. So... Jacasa New is going to do something. She's not really much of a fighter, but she has something in mind. So, anyways, um, the Grand Inquisitor is back. He's probably going to do something, most likely. Yeah, he's going to. Vader and Palpatine have an understanding for now, until Vader tries to overthrow him and then fail miserably like 500 times for the next 20 years. Granted, not one of them would be Galen Merrick, but yeah. Jacasa New, no idea what she's planning to do other than gather relics of the old Jedi Order. Probably find some some follow survivors. In fact, that led me to think. I think I talked about this in the first part for chapters one through four. Did she have some survivors out? Like, didn't she help anyone get out, or was it too late? Because I refuse to believe she would willingly let people die, though this is the Jedi Order and they are known not to be very big on whole uh, working together kind of mentality, unless it suits their needs. And there's a Sith temple underneath, underneath the Jedi Temple, and I'm still questioning that logic because how the fuck was that not in the archives? Uh, I'm like, okay... I I I, know, I I haven't talked about this before, but why the hell did they go with this idea? Couldn't they just say the Force deemed them the Jedi unworthy? Like, that would have been more interesting. Like, that would have proved Kreia was right about the Force, how it has a living soul and it seems to just muse everything and destroy everything in its path in the long run. And they rebooted the Grand Inquisitor's uh, motivations for switching, so that sucked. I, I would have loved... To see him, like, we could have gotten an introduction to the Grand Inquisitor, like, like, they could, like, they could probably do their own series with him of how he became who he is now, and we could see his mind linger on and on to mental torture regarding Baris Sophie and what her words said that day, but that'd be too compelling and too psychologically torture, so that would be bad for Disney. I like granted we have Darth Vader to do that, but we can't have any original characters of ours come up with something different. That would be stupid. Yeah. So um this is the end of the first arc in the Star Wars Darth Vader comic, Dark Lord of the Sith. Um now we're going to get to Legacy's End when it comes out in November, and I'll be sure to talk about that. This was Neo Reality Entertainment. If you like, comment, subscribe, and donate, stay tuned for more.